dear Lord. Well, nothing's going on over here so far. Too much of the sport of boxing. So, they replayed the Pacquiao Bradley fight again. And I'm still getting people pleading to me, you know, pack tards about the outcome crying foul when they weren't crying foul in November when Marquez got robbed that's typical but don't cry to me sorry if I don't cry for you Filipina <laughs> yeah so if you had no respect for Marcus, I can't hold any respect towards you for getting robbed. But what's also funny, champ, is that they had Julio Cesar Chavez fighting the Irishman Andy Lee. And I'm not saying he's on something, but if you looked in the eyes of this guy after the fight, after he stopped him, champ, I mean, this dude looked like they needed to shoot him with a tranquilizer dart or something. I mean, he was like, look at, look at his eyes. It was like, like, somebody needed to just shoot him like he was Chewbacca or something with all that hair on his face. It was scary. I don't know what was scary, him or Lou DiBella. Lou DiBella looked like a, a Miami hitman who just got lost and ended up at that damn fight. And he looked pissed off. He was there. He was just in there looking for directions to get to Miami. Probably was going to whack Andre Berto for messing up and <laughs> costing him a lot of money. Uh, nothing too much in this world, uh, you know, Bradley can't get his respect, you know, even though he won the fight, you know, people just can't understand that, you know, HBO on, oh, well, Jim Lampley, I can't really blame Larry Merchant for this one, he had the night off, but something tells me he's gonna put his three cents in and just make it just sound even more ridiculous, but I think the whole mask is falling down, everybody see how exposed HBO commentary is and how we really don't need it. They showed uh, a round for, for Tim Bradley, round seven in the fight channel. And he took out the commentary and just played the audio from the fight. And the funniest thing happened. They were trying to show that the judges scored all the round for Bradley. All the judges did. So they tried to show that the judges might have made a mistake here and they felt that this round should have went to Pacquiao so they wanted to try to brainwash the public into saying the same thing that they were saying but when they played it without the audio people who gave that round to Pacquiao such as myself I'm like wait a minute Bradley won this round I had to go and get around to Bradley because he really did win the round so I'm thinking they should just show all the rounds like that and then let us decide who is winning the fight. That's just food for thought for now. I've said too much. Parsino, I'm out. Talk to you later.